Hello everyone and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Hope you're having a great day. Today we are going to talk about freezing audio tracks and why that would help us. First of all, freezing audio tracks means that uh, we have a track that we really like and we want to keep it set. Um, we already know that we've adjusted our plugins and, and everything is accurate to the way we want it to sound, but we want to reduce the plugin load on our computer. So um, you can still mix uh, with your volume faders and um, different things like that when you freeze a track, but um, you can't change the plugin sound. Now, you can unfreeze and adjust the plugin sound and refreeze, and that's totally fine. That's why I think it's a better option than bouncing in place. But um, let me show you how to actually freeze the track. So you're going to come to your track header which is this area right here. And on one of your tracks, just right click in the gray area, not on top of a button, but just in the gray area. Then come down to track header components in this list. And then you're going to select freeze. Now, if you don't see those options, you may want to go into Logic Pro Preferences, Advanced Tools, and make sure that you have all of your advanced tools turned on. You should always have all the advanced tools turned on. It's the best way to run Logic. So now you have a snowflake that has shown up in the track. So I'm very happy with the way this guitar part sounds currently. I don't want to make any more adjustments to my uh, plug-in that's over here. I just want to have that sound permanent for my track. So I'm going to hit the freeze button. And then when I hit the play button, you're going to see that the playhead moves through the whole track. And what it did is it just stored that audio track in uh, Logic's memory bank. So now I cannot get in and access my plugin. See, it says, oh no, you can't actually get to the interactive view. That's because it's frozen. It's grayed out. Now it's still working because it did the work to make the freeze track. But when I play this, here's my audio track for the guitar. I can still adjust the volume, but I can't get in and access the plugin. Now you can also do that for MIDI, same way. Hit the freeze button and play. It goes through its little process. It does the freezing. And now you'll notice that both the instrument itself and the effect that I had on that instrument are blocked. I can still mix with both faders and listen to the song. And at the moment, I can even go in and add to the reverb effects. can still access all the important information for the mixing of the track. It just doesn't require as much computer overload to actually run the basic sound of the track. So I hope that helps. That is freezing tracks. You can always unfreeze them by clicking on the snowflake and then instantly you have access back to all of your plugins and sound adjustments. I hope that helped. Any questions, ask in the comments below. Have a great day.